Hey, what is up guys? Jake the Happy Snake here. Welcome back to Mario Kart DS. Here is the title screen that I'm pretty sure I forgot to show um, in the previous part because I went from the Wii U menu directly to uh, the suspended or the previous restore point or whatever. Anyways, let's go. Let's not uh, let's not waste any time. Let's go to, uh, no, not 50 cc, 150 cc, that's what I want. Uh, we'll go with Dry Bones, the Dry Bomber. And we'll go to the flower crop. Let's go. Let's get this started. So the first race here is Desert Hills, uh, also in the Wii version um, of Mario Kart. Uh, this race has a lot of shortcuts. Well, by a lot, I mean like two. Okay. Stop pushing me, Toad. What the heck? You're Toad. You're not supposed to be able to have the power to push me around. Oh boy. Awesome. Okay, seriously? Okay, here, here comes one of the shortcuts. Sort of. Boom! 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 Okay. There's another one as well. Um, for both shortcuts, you need uh, mushrooms. The other one is on the left, right over here, right there on the left there. You need a mushroom to get through, uh, like, between the wall and the pyramid. But you need a mushroom to get through. Well, you don't need a mushroom, but if you just go in there without a mushroom, it's not really a shortcut. It's just, it's just, it's actually the opposite. I mean, I've done it before, but it's really stupid. I mean, I'm not sure why you would do that unless you just don't really care about winning the race. The sun will um, shoot random fireballs at you, which isn't really that annoying. Of course, we can't go one race without seeing a blue shell. Not bad. There's my, uh, oh shoot. I forgot, I, I was gonna show the, uh, the, the lead that I had, but I forgot that this is zoomed in. So I have to do like this, you know, for you to see my, my uh, bottom screen. Anyways, that kind of ruined the video, who cares? Let's just continue on here with Delfino Square. I believe this is based off of Delfino Plaza from Super Mario Sunshine, which I have barely played at all. I own the game, I just haven't really bothered to play it. Okay. This is a very difficult track to snake in. I'm not even sure if you can snake here. And of course, you hit the wall. There's a couple of shortcuts in this race too, actually. What is wrong with you? I just realized DK sounds like that guy from Banjo Kazooie. Um, oh, who is it? The, that that the hippo from uh, Treasure Trove Cove, the second world in the game. He, he does exactly. He goes like, Woo exactly what DK is doing right now. Stop it! What the heck? There, something like that. Oh my goodness. Give me something that I can actually use. Okay, banana. Oh, he slipped on it, sweet. All right, I will take that for sure. This is like the only part of the race that you can actually snake in. Hey, I got a Facebook message or notification or something. Yeah, I may have forgot to turn my computer off. I meant to do that in every single part of this uh, series, but I kind of forgot to do that. So if you hear background noise, I apologize. Yeah, this race isn't that bad. I actually kind of like this race. I think this one's in Mario Kart Wii as well. <clears throat> All 
All right. Cool. Next race is Waluigi Pinball. This is my brother's favorite race in this game. I'm pretty sure my brother and I used to play a lot of this game. This is this one's in 3DS. I actually put a lot of uh, time into Mario Kart 7 because I tried to 100% that game, and it takes a lot a lot of time to 100% that game. It took me like 170 hours to 100% that game, and then and I now have like a like 210 hours or something. Because I, I play a lot of online. This is another race that I can't really snake in. I could try, but... Does that... Uh. Come on! Okay, there we go. I was like, why am I not drifting properly? Yeah, but these... Yeah, these are called... Uh, turbo boosts and they don't they're really they work really well in this game so if you get really good at snaking like I thought I was but apparently I'm not um, then you could do then you could become very good at this game Yeah, this is a very cool place. I like the concept of this place. I'm not a big fan of how it's based on the Waluigi. I mean, Waluigi's kind of weird. Of course! Sorry. Blue shells are so annoying. Especially if you hit them in first, which is entirely possible at one race, or no, two races in Mario Kart 64. And yes, I've been bringing up a lot of Mario Kart 64 in uh, this uh, playthrough, and that is because I've I play a lot of Mario Kart 64 w with my dad, and I've actually gotten used. I've actually kind of gotten I got like I've kind of learned how to play the game one-handed, which I know you probably don't believe me, but I I'm considering making a video of me playing one-handed, and uh, you know just for proof that I can do it. That's pretty much how I play now. I pretty much play, play normally like that. Aye! Seriously? Oh no! Oh no! Oh come on! Dang it! No, Daisy, I hate you! Get out of my way, Daisy! I... Are you serious? Okay, I need to say, Daisy is probably my least favorite person, or my least favorite character, in the entire Mario franchise. Well, what happened? I got hit by one of those flippers, and I got hit by two pinballs? Or one? That sucked. That was... My last lap was so bad. Shroom Ridge, okay. I love how it's just like Mushroom Bridge. Mushroom Bridge is from uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. Mushroom Bridge, except it doesn't have um, the word mush, and... Uh, um, um, br uh, bridge. The, the B. The B's gone too. So how does it have the word mush or B? I don't know. You probably have no idea what I'm talking about. Anyways, this is a race that I've been able to, um, get a pretty decent lead on in the past. I'm kind of upset about that last race. That was terrible. I came fourth. I guess I'm not good at this game as what I once, I, I guess what I, what, what I once thought I was, or I once was. I'm sure, I used to be really good at this game. Finally, someone who's not me gets hit by a blue shell, and I still somehow get hit by the blue shell. Well, I didn't really get hit by it, but I just, I was so close to DK that I kind of got swept into it. This is like the, um... This is like the, this game's version of Toast Turnpike. Toast Turnpike is in Mario Kart 64 and Mario Kart 8, and it has um, it has a lot of traffic, like like this race does. Except Toast Turnpike is actually at nighttime.
Oh, this commentary is fantastic. I have no idea what to talk about. Blooper! This is what I was afraid of. I, I was afraid of at, at, at any points during this playthrough that if I was to get so far ahead in a certain race, like in this race, uh, there's nothing to talk about. And we are done, and that is my lead. You can't even see that. Well, you could, well, you kind of can, but it's blurry. Anyways, I won that, just barely. I got, I got. Uh, actually, I'm gonna show this. The, those are the points. Yep. Anyways. Alright, so there we have it. Rank A! Oh wait, yeah, my performance at Wabuji Pinball was kind of terrible. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, really appreciate it. Next time we are going to go into the Star Cup. I'm pretty sure it's the Star Cup. So, thanks guys for watching, really appreciate it. Uh, stay tuned for uh, the next part, like I said, Star Cup. And please check out my Facebook page, I'll have a link to that in the description below. So thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you all next time. Peace.